Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hours. It's Luke here. Just a quick review of last night's game or bore fest. Listen, it 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 wasn't great. It, it was a real bore fest. We we just didn't really do much. We had a couple of chances in the first half. You know, James Ward Price had that good little shot. Bowen had the one where he hit the post. Apart from that, though, it was a real backs to the wall, and you know we really had to dig in at times. And then, literally towards the end, um, there was only one team really going for it. The, the lineups were slightly changed. Obviously, no Caduce off with Garner now. Paquetta still injured. Um, ben Johnson coming in for Soufal, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a bit. Uh, Benny was in, and Fournells was in. So. It was a real tough watch last night. Uh, ben Rama was really frustrated. So was Fornells, you know, overplaying and just not being sharp enough. Uh, Bowen was a real isolated figure for a lot of that game. Um, it was just tough. It was it just both teams would cancel each other out. Um, it, yeah, I, I didn't I didn't really enjoy the game. I'll be honest with you. It, it was very like, oh, come on, how long left to this match? How long left? Um, like I say, you've got to respect the point, though. A renowned bogey team of ours, Brighton. We've took four points of us, took four points off them this year, which is really, really good going. And you know, if someone offered you seven points from nine from Arsenal, Man United, Brighton, you'd be laughing, going, "Really? What West Ham have done that?" So we're in good stead. We're we're in good nick. You know, we're in, we're sitting in six. We, we've opened the gap, even though it was only one point. Could have been a lot more if we would have won yesterday. Um, yeah, we're, we're in good nick. We, we've got to go and push on though now. You know, get some players out the door, get some players in, um, and this could be a really, really good season if we can just get a couple of magic players. You know, a couple of players that can really make a difference. You know, it's very hard, and it, you know, if if we if we could somehow fluke a lucky person like Lingard and the impact he had a couple of years ago. You get someone like that in who, who can have that impact, West Ham are going to fly. Like, we really are going to probably secure six quite comfortably. But um, it's all about that now. It's what ambition we have. Just back on the game, I thought Ariola was fantastic. Pulled off some really, really good saves. Joel Pedro, uh, Ferguson, what a player he is. Really good player. I do like him. Um, he, he wasn't that great they got their passing rhythm going sort of the last 20 minutes or so but they wasn't like fantastically amazing there was just I think they just wanted it a little bit more in the end and I think Moyes and West Ham sort of thought mm, it's a good point considering the team we've got out it did highlight the fact though that Caduce and Pacato are so vital you know Bowen's Bowen's a great player but on his own Easy to mark out the game, you know, obvious where we was trying to go all the time. Well, when you've got three of them, it's very hard for a defence to know where you go. You know, Pacatar can pick the ball up, make a nice pass. Canoes can pick it up, run with it, uh, finish or set up. And then Bowen is the vice versa. And they're all alternating positions and stuff like that. Where, you know, Benny can't cross the ball really. Fornell's, he, he hasn't got the magic of Pacatar. You know, Pacatar's a very, very special player. Um, it was nice to see Mabama come on, even though he, you know he didn't really get a chance or a clean shot or goal. Um, you know, it sums up what Moyes like. Moyes is not going to use Danny Ings anymore. He's not going to use Corne. So it's time to get these players out the door as well. If you're not going to use them, get them off the books. Just one last thing on the Soufal thing. Um, obviously, about a week or so ago, two days ago, we triggered his con a year on his contract so that he's got. You know that extra year. Apparently, this has annoyed him and his agent, um, who wanted more money, um, and that's why he didn't play. That's the rumor. I don't know whether it's fully true, but that, that's the rumor. So I'll put it out there for you guys. Um, again, I think he should count himself slightly lucky at West Ham that you know he's been given a path back into the team and he's played quite well in this season. He's played a lot better. But he's not irreplaceable. You know, you don't look at him and think, oh, he's a, he's a, he is as impactful as an Emerson, for example. You know, right back, we could probably go and get a good right back out there. Um, yeah, so will he be off as well? Um, there's a few that could be off. It's, it's, it's got to be interesting. And if they don't go, there could be a few 
you know, little sulkers around the dressing room. Like, there's loads of rumours about a GERD. There's obviously Sue Fowl rumours to pick up now. We know Cresswell wants to leave. So, yeah, some interesting stuff ahead, guys. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for the Brighton game. Like I say, I haven't gone into depth because there wasn't really much to talk about. It, was, it wasn't it was a great game. Ariola was my man of the match. I thought he was fantastic. Good to see Oggy again. Oggy, you know, really putting in a shift again and filling in um, for Zuma. But, yeah, until next time, guys. Um, Bristol City at the weekend. Let's hope we can do that because it gives me a game on my birthday. Then the, the, the second round always falls on round the 25th, 26th. 26th is my birthday. Um, you know, we usually go out on that day. That's the problem, though. We usually get through this, then we pull out a Man United or a Chelsea or a Liverpool, and we go out on my birthday. My birthday's all, my birthday weekend's usually always ruined. Let's hope that's not the case this year. Anyway, guys, come on, you words. Let's respect where we are. Uh, we're doing good stuff. We're doing good stuff. It's not always pretty. But we're in a good position. Um, we just got to try and capitalise on it now. Hopefully, like I say, some news comes in the next few days of a first player out or and a first player in. Let's go.